What is up, people? It is Sunday night. I just wanted to give a quick little update on a few things as well as dive into some of the box count numbers on Kickstarter. So here we go. All right, so we're going to look at some recent sales, some active listings, as well as the Kickstarter box count. I'm just going to dive right into it and try to speed through this. So I did a video last week and uh, everything that you see highlighted in yellow here are new sales since that video was released. Um, just to give you some you know, context of some other previous sales. So what we're looking at here and the beta side, um, two player starter kit, another one sold for a tiny bit more. Um, two different listings for two booster packs each went for 80 bucks US. Um, you know, which is $100 Canadian. All the red numbers are Canadian values because I am in Canada and that's where most of the Genesis product is as well, I believe. So um, so what you see is boosters still going up. If you extrapolate out, you know, $100 for two packs, that's $1,200 a box, um, you know, if you were to buy them all individually. So we'll see what happens with booster boxes in the future. Um, when you get to W2J, Welcome to Jalera First Edition. Um, we see a, a box yesterday went for just under $500 US, and another one went for about 500 or 300 Great Britain pounds, approximately 500 Canadian, shortly after I did the video last week. Uh, we get to raise, same thing. Looks like somebody might have bought um, both boxes of raise and Welcome to Jalera for $499 US on the exact same day, December 11th. And you've got some other boxes going for $400 US. So we've we've seen, um, you know, again, we consistently see this going up and this lead up to the Kickstarter. Um, I anticipate this will likely keep happening just because of the rarity of this stuff. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool to see it happening uh, so quickly. All right, when we get into some of the active listings on eBay specifically, um, you know, trying to find all this stuff is, is is a little bit challenging, but I have to default my settings to look like I'm coming from the US so that I can get more of the action and, and see that. So um, we've got some beta booster boxes. Uh, you see a wide variety of values there from 785 Canadian to 6,300. Um, two player starter set. Somebody just put one up for 500 US um, and those booster packs, which are actually, which just sold so uh, we can kind of remove that and move it to the sold um, the welcome to Jalera you see a smattering of you know from 700 to 1500 dollars um, it's a quite a big range I think there's people trying to get a little bit more than market right now for it but who knows in two weeks that could be selling so who knows um, raise same thing 756 to like 1400 dollars um, I added some singles on here because I think it's important just to get an idea of what some of the singles are selling for. And, and these are specifically ones on eBay. Um, these actually aren't sold. These are listings. So Oni, which was a champion released in alpha and has been reprinted as a organized play promo. Um, probably not going to ever see tournament play, but it is an early alpha card. And for some reason, um, somebody believe they can get 900 us for it so we'll see maybe that sells um some other alpha stuff there's a meditative ascension that's been up since october 30th so it hasn't sold so i wanted to kind of highlight that um some other new ones here we've got this shoulder throw which was the rochester tcg promo um there's only about 36 of those i believe in existence and so that is 249 us and then there's an eight pack of the champions um then we got some beta some beta singles so i just wanted to highlight the bold shots up there skeleton king um and, and those are fairly new listings but at 100 bucks a pop you know we'll see what happens um i did want to i i don't have all the alpha single prices and what they went for from dragon world because they've been removed and i don't know what's come a lot of stuff moved really fast i've noticed on their website so um what i can tell you is um they had a bunch and i was trying to build this video and there was an Idris, um, I think it's 150 or $180. That's now gone as well as pretty much everything else. There's, there's seven 
Alpha 2017 cards left up on their website. Um, when you get to 2018, there's only two cards left, a Water Elemental and an Air Shield. Um, the rest were recently bought up, including a, a Fong uh, Champion card. And, and when you look at their beta, uh, I'm really unsure what it's sold, but most of the rares are gone. And uh, a lot of the commons and uncommons have thinned out a lot. Um, and, and there are still some rares up there, but nowhere near what has been up there. So I did want to kind of highlight what's left on Dragon World. And, and I don't want to keep harping on Dragon World, but they seem to be the only um, storefront that has an online presence that has some of this older stuff available. And so I know that there's some other people who have some of this stuff who don't have web uh, you know, available listings, but um, what I see left that's out there that's all pre Welcome to Jalera second edition. <clears throat> We've got um, Welcome to Jalera. There's 23 different epics up there. There's only one of each on there. And I know in the past there was multiple quantities. So either they've been bought out or they're trying to restrict this specifically to limit it to, to one per customer. I like the idea of limiting it because these are very limited cards and we do not want people hoarding these. So I, I hope that's the case, but at the same time, it could be all that's left. So take it for what, 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 you know, what you think. Um, there are some popular rares left from Welcome to Jalera, but that quantity is dwindling, I've noticed. And there's still a fairly decent quantity of the non-popular rares. Um, and there's about five plus copies of most uncommons and commons. So if you're looking to maybe build a set and just buying some singles of these or getting some originals, I don't think you have much time left before this stuff gets cleaned out. And some of those commons and uncommons are fairly cheap. So it's, it's worth picking them up, I think. Uh, when we move over to raids, there's 13 epics left. Um, again, I believe they're being restricted to one copy per, per customer or someone's cl cleaned them out recently as well. And they have a decent quantity of the rares on commons and commons. But again, with the pricing um, per box being the way it is and, and the cost of these rares on commons and commons, you might see this stuff get get bought out sooner than later. So I, I, I just don't think people should sleep on this. If, you're, if you think you're going to want them or even, you know, buying commons now for 25, 35 cents um, versus 50 cents or a dollar soon is, is going to be a, a big difference to your pocket if you end up wanting to buy them later. Um, they do have a pretty good selection of promo cards, um, various promo cards, and I'm probably going to dive a little bit deeper on this. I'm working on um, some stuff, some content for the, to go over the promo cards, so stay tuned for that. All right, so um, another thing that personally I wanted to look at was the Kickstarter box count. Um, we've seen that they got, you know, they got funded in 30 seconds. Uh, they're up to 335,000 Canadian dollars, I believe. And I know uh, Asid just put out a video um, and he did mention, um, I don't know if it's just for Patreons or everybody, I can't remember now, but he did mention that they are going to be printing extra boxes after the print to demand for some of the Haunted Castle staff. Um, so what I wanted to kind of go through was just what we know of the box count so far. Okay, so what I've done here is I've literally taken all the different pledges on the Kickstarter campaign, what you get in each box, how many backers and that cost. And so what I've done is if you, if you follow me with line one, the logic's the same all the way down, but there were 159 people who bought the $95 early bird single box. That works out to $15,105 with 159 minimum boxes. And I put minimum total and minimum number of boxes because these people could have put add-ons. And so when you go through the list, you've got your early birds, you've got your regular, you've got the players, the whole case, the content creators, the retail package, and you can see those values in the number of boxes. When we add that all up, we get to 279,665 or 3,271 boxes. So when we look at the campaign so far, we're at $335,000. And so what we wanna do is look at 279 was what I just calculated on the last slide here. 
with 3,271 boxes. So when we take that difference, we get 55,653. That difference works out approximately $100 per extra booster box if you added them on. So assuming all of the extra funding went into buying more booster boxes, there could be an extra 556 booster boxes out there. So right now the total is looking at 3,827 boxes. Now Haunted Castle Gaming is going to be printing extra for tournaments, for prizes, um, maybe for defects, maybe uh, you know just for the staff to give them as, as, as something because I'm sure they're not paying their staff a lot of money yet. Regardless, we're still under a 5,000 box count. There's still 26 days to go. But what I really wanted to kind of hammer home here was that the content I've been going through with you guys around Rays, Welcome to Jalera and Beta, we're looking at 560 to 665 boxes that were made of each of those three original sets. And we're now looking at like seven, eight times that number of boxes that we know of so far for Origins. We don't know the Welcome to Jalera second edition count yet. But where I'm going with this is that that early stuff is going to be, if every new player comes in and wants to get some of those older cards, they're going to be jumping into Origins. And there could be a huge demand for the older stuff that comes up. And so myself personally, I've been getting, you know, everything to complete sets because I'm a collector and, and I've been trying to collect, you know, the early sets before any of these pending jumps. And I think that that's really cool for one that, you know, the box count is up to almost 4,000 already because it's just showing this massive growth and we still have 26 days to go. And then on top of that, Origins will probably be printed outside of Kickstarter. So it's really cool. So uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. And I did want to just show people this data because I think some people might want to like just have this. It's kind of good to know. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just want to remind everybody if, if you do want to buy anything from Dragon World, um, there's a discount you can get 5% off. Just use, use the code Shockwave 5 um, I don't make any money doing this stuff, but if you can subscribe, it, it helps me know that people A are watching, people like the content, people want more of it, and maybe one day in the future there will be some kind of uh, monetary gains from this, but um, I do this out of passion and, and, and I have a full-time job, so um, you know, if people aren't subscribing and liking the videos, I'm not going to keep doing them anymore. I'll just do the, do the stuff for myself. Um, some future prizes I'd love to start doing with you guys. I went through this in the last video, but I'll kind of just run through it again. Boosters, boxes, singles, um, promos, sleeves, etc. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more content and collaborating with some of the other content creators. Do some interviews, a lot of box breaks and, and, and stuff when Origins comes out and some deck tech. And then on top of that, um, potentially gonna start doing the collection market tracker information um, Kind of as a service but we'll see uh, i am still taking logos um, for my contest um, i will say that i've been working pretty closely with jeff on on some stuff and and i'm liking it so far so this this slide maybe at a future um future videos but you know feel free to uh send something in if you want to and that's pretty much it i'd like to uh, thank you guys and have a good day